Before looking at the solution for the bounce diagram, let's look at a video generated by a code that solves the telegrapher's equations. We see the initial V1 plus wave has an amplitude of 60 volts. Is this what you got from the voltage divider? You can also check the amplitudes of the V1 minus wave and the V2 plus waves. Question. Why is the 60 volt label still there at the end of the video with an arrow pointing to the right? It's because the source is still connected. We never opened the switch. The V1 plus wave is still continuing along the transmission line. Here is the bounce diagram that corresponds to the video on the previous slide. I'll move along the bounce diagram as the video plays so you can see where we are in the video. So here I'm starting it and we get the V1 plus wave. Here it reflects V1 minus and we get a little bit of the V2 plus wave and then the video ends. Well, I wasn't supposed to go to the next slide yet. Okay, write down in your in-class project notebook that we can use bounce diagrams to help us keep track of individual reflections along a transmission line. This is particularly useful for transmission lines with branches. When you're done with that, you can also spend a couple minutes creating a bounce diagram for the current for the same transmission line problem.